we are going to discuss Keynes psychological law of consumption Keynes formulated psychological law this law depends upon human nature income is the independent variable for consumption Keynes law implies that there is a tendency on the part of the people to spend on consumption less than the full increment of income. Consumption function is the relationship between income and consumption spending. C is equal to function of Y. Here C is equal to consumption Y is equal to income F denotes functional relationship consumption function is the income consumption relationship Keynes proposed three propositions his views about increased income increased income has some effects expenditure also increases but by a smaller amount it is the positive function income increases consumption also increases it does not mean that the consumption expenditure fall with the increase in income the increased income will be divided in some proportion between consumption the increased income will be divided in some proportion between consumption expenditure and saving this is not in same proportion but some proportion the whole increased income is not spent on consumption the remaining is saved increase in income always leads to an increase in both consumption and saving there is no decrease in both consumption and saving three proposition based on some assumptions it assumes the existence of normal condition the law holds good under normal condition no abnormalities are there Abnormalities like war, revolution and flood, the law will not operate. There is no change in population, preference of the people, habits and taste. If changes occur, the law will not operate. The law operates in a rich capitalist economy where there is no government intervention the law is inoperative in socialist countries people should be free to spend increased income people are free to spend everything increased income always leads to positive effect when your income is increasing you always watch the change in it